Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, as you remember, I'm playing this new game that I saw one of my friends' cats were playing through the Xbox Network called Firewatch. Now, basically, I've just started the story and put in play like um, the most thing, like because like I literally started like a few minutes ago. Tell you what, can I? Nope, I can't open the menu. Put in play. Apparently, my character met a girl, like it just got words on the screen for now, really. And yeah. Like, life's going well already. Like, apparently been dating for over a year, drives me nuts, and that's about all I've learned. So, let's see. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anyway. Life is good. Now, I have to click A when it's like that, because that does that. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, unsized beagle. Julia's enough. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German chef. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while, she, uh, while walking this dog. It's badass. Well, seeing as she wants the beagle, like, but I mean, wait, she wants to bring it with her to her class? How old am I? Because, like, when I met her, apparently my character was drunk. Now, I'm only going to be playing this until I get one achievement. Like, there's, like, there's ten achievements in this game. And so, oh, I'm mostly just doing this for my game pass right now. So, we can pick, we can get the shepherd, or we can get the beagle. I'd say let's get the beagle, because I mean, like, honestly, when it, but, like, me personally, guys, like, honestly, if it was a bunch of puppies, I would have trouble picking even one of them, because, like, honestly, walking past, like, just imagine walking past all those cute as hell puppies, just only picking one of them, like, and not know what could happen to the rest. Like, honestly, like, I feel, I would feel guilty, but I'm going to go for the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Man, it didn't take you long to forget about that other one, did it? I should say me. 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Whoa! How long into the relationship are we, may I ask? Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. You know what? Let's go with that would be pretty good. Because, I mean, like, I don't know how this game works, guys. Like, I don't even know. Like, is it a new game? Or... Hold on, let me search up real quick. Like, I want to see when this game came out. Because if it came out only recently, then sure. But if it didn't come out recently, then whatever. But I'll make... I just recently had my tea, or dinner, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. And I've been trying to put for a few minutes now, but apparently my boy doesn't want to. If my laptop can just open up, please. Jesus Christ. Um, fire watch. Let's see. It was made in September 2016? Wow! Well, that's what it says online, at least. Maybe it could be the wrong one. But yeah, let's go with that would be pretty good, because, like, one day, why rush, though? Honestly, I'd say that would be pretty good. I mean, to be fair, guys, in the real world, I don't really want kids. I mean, like, there's things that make me want them, but, like, things that don't make me want them. And, like, when I hear a kid crying, that's just the one thing that really doesn't make me want them. Not that I've got a problem with kids crying. I understand, like, they're not able to talk and all that, but, like, it's just something, like, I'm just not that good at coping with, okay? Like, I mean, yes, we all used to be like that, but still, you get what I mean, but yeah, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. What's hitched mean? Does that mean, like, married? Wow, I have some big hands. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Now I have literally zero clue what this game is about, guys. Tell you what, let me just tell you all of the achievements. Secret, well, like, most of it is complete day one, complete day two, day 76, day 77, day 79, fill disposable camera with photos, have a hands-on encounter with the local wildlife, find a bee, 
adopt a turtle and find and hear the recording song All Sun Sh Shoshone. What the fuck is Shoshone? Subtitles? What the hell is the subtitles for? Why did that thing honestly look like a little weird crab? 1980, so one year after. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and get angry by the maid. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Don't tell me this is going to go the way I think it's going to go. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. So I can get mad or I can ignore her. Both sound like pretty bad options, but yeah, I knew that was where it's going. Like, my character was going to get mad and I'm probably going to break up. Like, yeah, either way, it seems like I'm going to... Um, but yeah, could it tell me what I'm late to? Uh, but uh, I don't know. I'm just going to get mad. Like, honestly, actually... Like, I don't know, like, ignoring her sounds like, like, both these are bad options, really. Like, honestly, like, you could at least try to talk about it more. I mean, yes, for I was late to whatever it is, like, maybe it was something very important, but still, whatever. You call her an inconsiderable asshole. Whoa! Okay. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Okay, I understand that she's four hours late, but, like, if it could at least tell me what she's four hours late to, maybe I'd understand it more, but I feel like my character is acting out a bit. Like, even if it's something important, like, and she's four hours late and she's drunk, I can understand that, but, I mean, still. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Oh, so the relationship's still going strong. Frolic like a Victoria's Secret mod, or you pose and flex like He-Man. Who the fuck is He-Man? Julia was right. You are very pretty. What happened to that tree? Two forks. Fire lookout, eight miles. Why would you look directly at the sun? Are you trying to blind yourself? 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. I forgot about the dog, to be fair. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, mate, come at me! Bucket gets kicked. But bit bat fuck do, do, dog, Julie yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I'm being his goddamn facing! Honestly, you wanna go for my dog? Yeah, fuck you. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pull. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cop show. Julie has to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Wait, did the dog die, do you think? Like, is that what it's trying to say? It is so, that guy deserved it. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. Don't know what the fuck that is. 2,000 miles away. Wow. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes backwards and forwards. Well, if she really does want this job, I'm not going to stop her. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it off if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. So yeah, like that's what I was going for. Like honestly, like because if someone in your relationship really wants something, you shouldn't hold them back. I mean, yes, yeah, fine, there might be a huge distance away, but still. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. 
Oh, don't sound like the job is going too well. She was found crying and stale. You say that some... You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone, right? You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget that. I'd say talking to someone's bad, because I mean, like, macaroni and drinking wine, that's not really going to help, right? Because honestly, like, if you try to forget that, like, that's, like, probably the start of t getting an alcoholic sort of problem. So I'd say, yeah, we should talk to someone about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Dementia is when you start losing your memory, right? One second. Oh, for fuck's sake. My phone just doesn't want to activate. Hey, Google? What is dementia? Yeah, so basically, yeah, okay, so it's her memory going. Like, I can't imagine having that, like, having your memory have to go, like, that must be tough. Like, not being able to even remember the people you love. Wait, I swear to God, if she's gonna die, if she's gonna die, fucking hell. I can't move. Journal. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second, wait a second, whoa, what was that? Bucket is getting older. Oh, thank God the dog lived. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. It'd be good for the university at least know she's got dementia. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. So anyone wondering what that affliction means, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to mean, you know, um, the dementia. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. I really do feel bad for the character. I know it's a, not a real character, but still, I feel bad. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. Wow, she wants to get frisky! You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. She's gonna die, isn't she? 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Danielle, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home, it sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. I, I hate having to do it, but I think it's best for her to go for a place with 24-hour care. Because don't get me wrong, it'll be, it'll be nice for me to take care of her. But at the same time, like, honestly, I care about her. Like, I know she's a virtual character, quite clearly. But honestly, this character, I care about her, so I think it's best for her to be moved more into a full-time care facility. Who the hell is this SN... Oh, I recognize this guy. Some random guy just invited me, but, like, I just remembered who he was. You know, let me just lower my volume real quick. I want to lower it to 50. What would the subtitles be used for? You know what? Tell you what. Let's just make sure they saved. Can this guy stop fucking inviting me? Fuck off. Oh, wait. I was pressing... I was following RT, but I forgot I have to... Push down the um, left joystick. A oh dear! Time to recreate Bambi! Get your ass back here! Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Who the fuck's at the door?
You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Man, this must be tough. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be closer. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. I swear, if you're about to start cheating on Julia already... Months go by. Bucket dies. Of course that dog died! Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. It must be really painful having someone that can hardly remember you. Honestly, like, I can't imagine having to go through that. Like, that must be, it's like, it must be the, like, honestly, I don't know what I'd take more. Having people that I cared about dead or having them not know who the hell I am. Like, which one would you guys actually go for? Like, would you rather the people that you care about not know who you are, or would you rather them be dead? Like, which one, but like, also, like, they, like, if they're still alive, but, like, they can't remember, you do see them, but, like, they just treat you like you're a complete stranger. Like, I don't know which one I take. You take it. Of course I do. How long are we for? 16 minutes. So... What is my job? Oh, I know. Enter the lookout tower. This is down on another game called Moving Out 2. I'm only doing this for Game Pass stuff anyway. Besides Game Pass stuff, I don't care. This place does not look very well supported. Turn on the power. I can't with that, apparently. There goes my dog barking. Examine. Pine cone! What the fuck do I do with the pine cone? The singular mind. Oh, there we go. Flora of the show. Delia? Who the hell are you supposed to be? Two Does my guy have a flick? This is thoroughfare tower. Come in. Hello. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? I'm going to tell her. What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Just trying to help. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. That sounds like a dark way to say uh, you just want to die. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're a Bellingham's mom. No back home can stand you. I'm going for you, a Bellingham's mom. Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well... She also says I fuck immature men, but wow. in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. I can't think I'm going to like Delida. Day one. Time to go for the day on the job. 
What the hell am I writing? Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Wait, you can see me? Excuse me, what? How? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Close enough. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? <laughs> Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God. Sure. Language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. On it. Really, my job? Your One second. Job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. I need to quickly move the um, the thing that's for my um, what's it called? Do you think you can handle that? Like kick the shit out of them, sort of straight? No, 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 no! Jesus, no! What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. One sec, I need to move that thing that because it's on the bot like the stream statistics thing is in the bottom left corner of my screen, give me a second. I'll move it to the top right. Whoops. So wait, what box was she talking about? There's a box somewhere, but it's one, two, three, four. The leech. Why do I keep dropping it like that? Coffee per collator. Yeet! Dish up. What box was she talking about? I don't see a box with a code on it. That's one way to clean glass. Thank on! It was, like, somewhere around here, right? Like, I didn't miss it, because, like, I swear I've just checked that whole room. I said propane. Do you really need to do that? Find rope in NFS cash box 306. This way, right? Seems that way. I can't run whilst I got the map out, that's alright with me. I think I'm following it. Actually no, I think I'm going the wrong way. 
It's hard to tell with this map. Honestly, this map is not very clear. I don't think I'm going to enjoy playing this. I thought I would, but yeah. Okay, so, wait, what? One, cash box 306. Yeah, alright, so if we just follow this path. Wait, was it going this way? Oh yeah, it was, alright. Yeet. Alright, let's see how close we are. We're getting close, so it's just going to be... Okay, alright. Why does that sound like a fucking bear? Here it is. Oh. Granola bar. We're going to need a rope. Deal with whoever's setting off fireworks. I'm going to pick... I'm going to bring a pine cone with me. Actually, nah, screw that. So we close this. Map updated. What the hell did it with? Okay, so now we need to find these firework pricks. Does it show it on our map? As far as I can see. So I just have to... Oh, wait. They were west. So if I keep going in this direction, I should eventually find them. Oh, that's not bad. That's fireworks. All right, bitches. Let's see. Okay, so a bit more in that direction, but meh, whatever. Oi, can you bastards stop setting off those fireworks? This is the woods for fuck's sake. Who the hell has rhymed their bike? Oh, it would definitely be between these rocks somewhere, wouldn't it? That makes sense. Rope hook. Why am I on top of a fucking cliff? Shale slide. It's steep. Really? Um, yeah, that's not how that works. Okay. Rappel. What the hell's Rappel? Yeah, I don't even know if that's how gravity works. Oh, well, I'm dead. Never mind, I was close to the ground, but now I can't get back up. Oh, well, let's go deal with these assholes. The poor climbing incident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Maybe you should lose some hounds. No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Thank you. All right, keep going in this direction. Just thought I'd examine that. See what's up with it. Ah, huh, they seem to stop doing their fireworks real fast. Meadow. Let's go with this. A hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Jonesy. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm, maybe keep heading west toward the lake. On it.
It's a very old park ranger does. Or whatever the hell I am. I can't go up that, really. <sighs> can't go around much, can I? I guess it would make sense to go through. I just didn't think it was. Fireworks. Beer. That was pretty much useless. Okay, there's backpacks here. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Sure. But they try getting violent with me, I'll get violent straight back. Um. Okay. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I mean, it'll be exciting for me. Oh, god damn, yes, it's gonna be a lot more exciting for me. Oh, it's about to get real exciting. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? I hope this doesn't actually have nudity in it. Okay, really? Yeah, honestly, this is gonna get real exciting. Don't cough at me, please. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Yeah? Boy, enjoy dealing with that. Hi! What's my go job right now? Full stereo. Whoa, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking I'm not gonna the fireworks. Please just put it down. He won't light anymore. Yeah, this guy's crazy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boom box. Can we go? You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. But Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to- Yeah, well, fine, was a different. My name's not Tom, I'm Henry. Sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Bark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Yeah, totally. You're gross. Fuck you. Sad man out in the woods. Fuck you lot. If I went back to two folks look out. Yeah, fuck you lot. Fuck you. You know what? Done. I will say I hope they drown. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. If this thing's copyrighting me, yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck your music. Honestly, oh, if you've copyrighted me, fuck you even further. But honestly, fireworks are different, I'm pretty sure. Like, honestly, it might be a free country, but that doesn't mean fireworks and all that. I don't know which way I came through. Another bra? <sighs> yeah. Someone's probably like, did you just really do that? Yes, I did. 
But man, I would have liked to get a better view, but then I probably wouldn't have even been able to. Parrot or Irish? You left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Let's clean up this place. Well, honestly, I would like to get a close-up view. <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? I mean, after all, I'm a bloke. I can say some of these things if I want, okay? But then again, this game wouldn't be rated the age it was if you could see some tits. But hey, I basically saw a man's dick in a painting. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Uh. That's me doing on purpose. This way. Oh, I see, I see. How does this get me back there? Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption or... <laughs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Oh god, what the fuck? So she said to head north, right? North's more in that direction, but honestly, I'm gonna have to go this way to even head north from the looks of things. Oh my god, I'm at the fucking Grand Canyon. I need a rope, but I don't have one anymore. And that thing didn't have a rope, that's for sure. Let's see, are we near any others? Nope. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Can I go over this? No, I cannot, which makes sense. Bossy, how am I supposed to get past this? Like, there's no other way past, as far as I'm seeing. Do I just take a... oh. No, oh, never mind. I can slide down that! Like, that doesn't look like that steep of a thing. But she said to go... to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh, sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on, you're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? <laughs> wow. I 
can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Is that going north? Like there was no way I could go, so I'm going this way. Almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell. Yellowstone is like what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about Yeah, this is the way to go. They decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone I'm not paying attention to a single word that's being said right now, I'm being completely honest. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it... I need to turn right soon. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. What you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The the arc of our budding friendship. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. A horn? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Hello? It looks locked. Really? No shit. I can climb this. Really? Wow. My guy is athletic. Like his arms do not look like he's very strong. What the hell? Okay. I just have a new button for notes and documents. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just... Creeping? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? No, he just walked off. I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. What? The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I have to jump that? Really? Did 
Dude ran off. Dude didn't want the smoke. Let me get the map up to make sure I'm going the right way. Because I do not know if I'm going the right way. This is probably my only stream that I'm even going to do of this game, by the way. If I'm being 100% honest, because honestly, with how many like hours this... Uh, well, not hours, like, after I've been streaming for 45 minutes, but like, 45 minutes for like a whole fucking day already, really. Can I climb this? Wasn't this the one that I went up? I mean, down on. Why couldn't they all just be in one formation instead? Trail close time, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, never mind, that was just a sign. I thought that was the rock and I was like, are you kidding me? It'd be nice if I could have like a mini map. Wait, actually, hold on. Hi. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Yeah, fair. <laughs> to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? <laughs> Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo <laughs> Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, still better than Forrest Burns. Oh, I get what he means now. Forrest Burns. Like, as in, like, wait. Well, if you can't get the, you know... So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Wow! Mind if I watch you? Okay, now I'm just starting to sound like real creepy, aren't I? Yeet! What is that typewriter that it just showed? What typewriter is this thing talking about? I don't I don't see no typewriter. Oh. It's sensing what's above me, is it? Oh no, right here. Uh what can I do for you? Well my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh the wind? No. How the hell You should get inside. Fuck me. Gladly. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like a real creep now, aren't I? Um. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. You won't be cold. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Pricks. I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean... I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Thanks, Delia. Not much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I 
Done it before. Okay, tough guy. That's day one out of the way. Let's go wait for the achievement to pop up. Wake up. Shut up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. What? I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Problem. Oh, there's my achievement. Good first day, complete day one. You know what? Maybe I will consider doing some of this on stream, but honestly, for now, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Because honestly, like, I honestly actually like this game. I mean, it's probably gonna be a bit annoying at first, but I feel like I'll get used to it. Like, honestly, I mean, I'm only doing this until I've complete every achievement then this game see ya it's no longer on my xbox after that until then yeah i'll play it but honestly if it's saying i have to complete like a day 70 i swear to god if i have to go through it each and every individual day like it better skip a whole bunch of days because i am not going through 70 days just to get one fucking achievement like not a chance in hell it took me like 30 minutes just to complete one day you think i'm just gonna go and sit here for like like what? Like let's see. So if it's thirty minutes and then like that's seventy, someone do the maths on that. You know what? Hold on. Hey Google, what is seventy times thirty? Two thousand one hundred. Like not a chance in hell. But yeah, honestly, I'll consider it. So, you know what? Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Let me just um, change where my broadcast bar is. Actually, not now. I'll keep it there. Because honestly, but yeah, honestly, I'll leave it at this for now. So thank you very much. And see you in the next one, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Or... Well, as it is for me, like, as I'll be uploading this the day after I've done it, because, like, I have done two other streams earlier today, but, you know what? Fuck those streams. It was just a new weapon in Fortnite, and me playing another creative map. So, yeah, whatever. See you guys. Bye.